OpenAI is in talks for a potential share sale that would value it at $500 billion. It is a massive jump from the $300 billion valuation it secured earlier this year. And this new deal would be a secondary sale with current and former employees selling shares. Now, why should we care about this? This is a potentially once in a lifetime company in which retail investors cannot invest. And that is even at this crazy valuation of 500 billion. I mean, this makes OpenAI more valuable than Coca-Cola, more valuable than Johnson & Johnson, more valuable than Netflix. This company has every reason to be a public company. And yet at the same time, it doesn't because in 2025, the private markets can do everything the public markets can do, minus the scrutiny from the SEC and minus the hassle of regulations. So the only loser here is the retail investor who doesn't get access to any of this. I mean, if you're a retail investor and you want to participate in this thing called AI, you basically have three options. One, you can keep investing in the chip stocks like Nvidia, which are already worth trillions of dollars. Two, you can keep investing in big tech, which are building data centers, but are also already worth trillions of dollars or you could try to find some AI alpha in the public markets and maybe you invest in Palantir, for example. But oh wait, that's what everyone's doing. Hence why the company is valued at 600 times earnings. So look, congratulations to OpenAI and to the employees, $500 billion, the most valuable startup in history. But you know, just remember, there is a reason why the rest of America isn't celebrating here. They're not celebrating alongside you. And it's because the rest of America can't buy. All they get to do here is sit around, read the news, listen to this podcast and watch you get rich.